Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be trying out one of the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Vault eyeshadow palettes. And for this video, I'm only going to be focusing on one eyeshadow palette. I will obviously do more eye looks and tutorials with the other three. Um, but for this one, I just wanted to do one just so I can really focus on all the shadows, really go into depth about each single palette, whether I have problems with blending them or if they're not pigmented or if they're too harsh and stuff like that. I chose the Ring the Alarm palette and this one looks like this. It is super duper pretty. I wanted something kind of like neutrally. So let's just go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to go ahead and take the color Mugshot, which is this one right here. It's, this color is like a really pukey type of brown. Then I'm just going to go ahead and be dipping into Rush, which is this one over here. This is the lightest brown in the palette, so it's kind of more of a transition color. This is how both Mugshot and Rush look together. For both of these shadows, I think they're really easy to work with. There's not a lack of pigmentation um they blend pretty easily there doesn't seem to be any patchiness so with those two i think it's a pretty safe bet that they're pretty good shadows i'm gonna go ahead and dip into the color siren which is this one right here So for the color Siren, I don't really have any complaints. On this side, it does seem a little bit patchy. Um, I think it might have just been the brush that I was using. I took a pretty dense brush and I packed it on. And then I tried blending it out. And for this side, I didn't do that. I just put it on my blending brush and I did it like that. I think that's the only difference that I see. I'm just going to go ahead and be taking the color Secret, which is this one right here and it's the only dark brown in the palette and i'm just going to go ahead and focus this just right here um, i might go a little bit more further in into my eyelid but i'm going to try to keep it out So that color was actually really really nice right off the bat i am noticing that the color rush and secret were the only two that were super duper easy to work with and blend with the color that i put on my crease the color siren that one was a little bit more difficult to blend you definitely do have to dip in for a second or third um little dip just to get the perfect amount of pigment that it shows to be in the pan um, and then Mugshot was a little bit hard to blend. It might have been because, you know, my concealer was still a little bit tacky. But definitely you do have to go ahead and double dip, triple dip, whatever you need to do. But with Secret and Rush, I didn't really have to do that at all. So those colors are just amazing on their own. I am going to make this eye look pretty simple. So I am going to go ahead and cut my crease with concealer and then I'll be right back. I want to dip into two colors, but I don't know how it's going to turn out. But I think we're just going to do it because why not? I'm going to go ahead and be start by taking the color on camera, which is this beautiful gold shade here. And also, I feel like I have to say this in every single video. I don't spray my brushes at all unless a product really, really sucks and it's sheer as heck. Um, but I do like to test it out without spraying. So you do have to go ahead and double dip and kind of layer it on to like get it to be a little bit more pigmented on there. So 
So I think this is pretty good for now. I'm going to go ahead and take another shimmer, which is Bomb Ass, which is this color right here. And this one looks just interesting. So I wanted to try this one out as well and putting it on the leftover right here. This color, I can already say, is so much more pigmented than on camera. I don't know what look I was going for, but this doesn't really look that good. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend all three shades together so it doesn't look like harsh on my eyelid. So that's pretty much what I wanted to do on my top eyelid. So then we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this eye. I see this highlight like like oh my god I think I went too overboard with the highlight but you know what she's already on there so we're not taking her off if you love highlights you need to get your hands on the 24 karat skin frost pro palette from Jeffree Star he has this one and then he has the ice cold one I think it's called I'm not sure don't quote me it's just like lighter um, highlighters like white silvers blues and stuff like that this color is gorgeous I put a little bit of that one on right now you can't really tell but I mean let me just show you guys what I'm talking about right so I'm gonna take I'm gonna go ahead and take Liberus and just dip her in and do you guys see the yellow peeping through? Cause, cause I can. Anywho, if you love highlights, please get this palette because you will thank me later. Just, just do it. For the lower lash line, we're almost in and I'm super happy because filming this has been pretty hectic. You guys probably don't know the struggles that I go through because I have to keep my two dogs in the room with me, same room with me. I have to make sure they're quiet which is impossible. Rambo, get off of me. They just like to play, run around, which makes noise on the carpet. And they bark and they freaking do every single noise you can think of. If I leave them out running out there, it's even worse. They're even louder and they think they own the place. They could do whatever they want. My husband isn't here. He's on duty. And I'm the only one home with the two dogs and the rabbit. The rabbit is a blessing. He doesn't do anything but eat and sleep and relax. Anywho, let's just go ahead and finish this eye look. We're going to go ahead and dip into the shade Alert, which is this one up here. It's almost pretty similar to um, Rush, but it's not. It's just different. So we're going to dip that shade towards the inner to the center part of my eye, and then we'll take a different color for the other part. As I'm applying this color, it's super duper easy to blend. It's super pigmented as well. For the outer part of my eye, since we do have to go a little bit darker because our outer corner is a little bit dark, we're gonna go ahead and be taking the color Framed, which is this one right here. We used Siren. This one I feel like has a sheen to it, so maybe that's why it was a little patchy on my eyelid, but I don't know. Like I see sparkles in there, but when I swatch it, I don't really see them, so I'm not sure. But I'm going to say it's a sheen, so that's why it was a little patchy and weird on my crease. So I'm going to be taking the color Frame, which is an absolute matte. Because there is no inner corner highlight that I would use, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of the other palettes. I know. I have to because I've been really wanting to try out this eyeshadow and I feel like this is the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to be taking the Armed and Gorgeous palette and it's this one and I'm going to be taking the color, whoa, 
I'm gonna be taking the color VIP, which is the white. And this was the finished look that I created with the Ring the Alarm palette. Once again, this is what the palette looks like. And in total, I did end up using eight shadows out of the 10. The only shadows that we didn't use were the colors Lolly and Boom. I already used this one in my first video that I did. And then I just haven't used Boom because it's a very pretty color, but it's just like a bronzy shade. I honestly feel like that color is just super duper, I don't know, I like basic. I know that if I end up using this color, I'm going to end up doing a bronzy smoky eye. And I don't know, that seems kind of boring to me because that's a super simple eye look. Um, I just want to experience different colors, different looks. Overall, I had difficulty, well not really, when I say difficulty, I just mean that it was a little bit more harder to blend than the rest of the shades and then you did have to dip a little bit more to get the type of pigment that you want for these two shades. So I experienced this with the color Siren and the color Mugshot, which are both of these down here. However, for the color on camera, which is this one right here, um, it's not the most pigmented gold ever. I feel like this one was, it seems pretty pressed. So you do have to go ahead and dig into it a little bit, but if honestly if you take your brush and you go like this a couple times you'll just get a lot of pigment on your brush and then just go ahead and tap it on your eyelid rather than go like this and then go ahead and like blend it out is that i'm having brain farts right now bomb mask was actually amazing it was super duper easy to apply it pigment was there it was shown up she was she was popping. I'm pretty sure if you do end up using your fingers with both of these shimmers or any shimmers in these palettes, you'll have like automatic amazing payoff because that's what I did in my last video for one of the shades. I don't remember which one, but I know I did and it was just super duper pretty and there was no hassle, but I just, I don't know, my fingers are kind of big and I was doing a cut crease and I didn't want any shimmers going on top of my crease. So I decided to use a brush. Overall, I really, really do like this palette. Uh, rating it from 1 to 10, I'm going to give this bad boy a 10 because I was actually really impressed. You know, I did this one first because, not going to lie, it seemed like colors that I don't really go towards to. And I wasn't sure if I can even do an eye look that I would actually like. And I kind of actually really do like this eye look. I don't know what look I was going for, but this doesn't really look that good. That's pretty much it for this tutorial slash review on the Ring the Alarm palette by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. Um, obsessed. I hope you guys liked this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this palette or if you like the palette or if you think I did a good job. I don't know. Just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, please. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching once again and I hope you guys all have a very, very blessed day. Bye guys.